I'm Dr. Brett Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, nutrition specialist, and featured BPI sports expert. That's a good question. Um, is a cheat day okay um, in the context of their, their master ketogenic plan? Uh, and the answer to your question is, if you are keto adapted, as I had said before, that means that your cells essentially are running on ketones for fuel, as opposed to running on glucose, which is what the vast, vast, vast majority of, the, of Americans um, are running on, and therefore there's all this disease here, because they're all based on, um, or the genesis of these, of these metabolic diseases has to do with uh, consumption of simple carbohydrates. So if you are keto adapted and you've done your requisite carbohydrate depletion for say eight to 12 weeks. I always call this the, the clamp. So if you were to go and eat a very, very heavy carbohydrate laden meal because of the fact that uh, you do have this clamp, if you will, if you were to test your blood sugars, they're not gonna shoot up to the point where you believe they, they may have uh, shot up um, if an individual that were not keto adapted um, were to eat, as an example, the Snickers bar, in which case their, their blood sugars uh, may shoot up to 200 uh, transiently. And this is, what we, this is what we see. In other words, they go up tran the blood sugars go up transiently in a, in a keto-adapted individual, and then they're clamped right down um, you know, within an hour or two to that, that normal level. So the answer to, your, the answer to that question is, is no, if you are a keto-adapted individual and you're running your cells on fat, is it going to knock you out of ketosis? And the answer to your question is no, it's not gonna knock you out of ketosis. Now, if you're an individual that is on the threshold of being on ketosis and you started, as an example, on a, on a Wednesday and you're going and you're going and you're going, you're knocking your carbohydrates down, you're say as an example at 75, then maybe 50 and you're 50, and then you go and eat a carbohydrate-laden meal, yes, you're gonna have a problem. In other words, that is definitely, definitely, definitely going to delay your transition to ketosis because what you're doing is you're telling your body, hey, <clears throat> upregulate the enzymes that allow me to metabolize the carbohydrate because you know what? You're feeding me carbohydrates. So you're, that's, that's in, in stark uh, uh, sort of a contradiction to what occurs in an individual that is fully keto adapted um, in whom uh, cellular energy is derived from ketones and all of those enzy enzymes are very much upregulated and those that help allow us to our cells to metabolize glucose um, are downregulated. So you don't want to do anything like that um, and go eat a very, very uh, carbohydrate laden cheat meal during your induction phase. I would say if you're going to cheat and a lot of us do uh, and that's that's fine, everybody's human, make sure that you have done a fairly rigorous induction phase prior to going in and cheating because your body is not going to tolerate it and you're going to take a step in the wrong direction. It's like, uh, you know, taking, um, you know, a step forward and then taking two steps backwards um, if you do it during that induction phase. So don't do it because you're trying to show, you're trying to teach your body, you're trying to coerce your body uh, into using fats or, or ketones as a primary fuel source as opposed to glucose. So don't do that. Um, that's the answer to that question.